Good afternoon. This is North Carolina Pepper. I got the uh, the Pi up running right now. Um, that's the HDMI cable right there. Uh, it's not plugged in right now, but I've got an AI on here called Jasper, and I can talk to him by saying, Jasper, what time is it? It is 4:04 p.m. right now. You know, I could do that, or I could say, uh, Jasper! Didn't listen too well. Jasper! Top news! Pulling up the news. Here are the current top headlines. One half of Alabama counties defy pets by blocking gay marriage. Two, Obama will allow new push for peace before deciding on arms for Ukraine. Three, Boston buried by snow again as absurd winter drags on. Four, Sam Smith's theory of winning everything. Would you like me to send you these articles? If so, which? No. Okay, I will not send any articles. So that's basically it. It's running through a USB uh, output here, or USB uh, input. Um, I don't have a USB microphone other than my one I'm using now, the big one, uh, the Blue Yeti, and I'm not going to put that on this, but I'll probably order a cheaper one. Um, it's got the standard output. Uh, right now, it, it should have a better voice right now. It should have one called Python, or um, uh, Pocket Sphinx, I mean, but I'm having problem encoding that right now. I'm not, I'm not a Linux guy, so I'm working on it, but right now it's here. Ideally, I want to hook this up to a webcam and make some kind of sentry. Um, just to see what's going on, or, you know, pan, tilt, and zoom. But I'll have to do that. And I didn't do the radio one right now because this radio is pretty cool. I didn't feel like tearing it up. I'm going to have to get another one to tear up. I ain't going to mess this one up. It's just, it's just too neat. But that's that's where we're at right now with the Raspberry Pi. We got that going. And we got a little virtual thing on. I may change it over to one called Home Genie. Uh, this one's called Jasper, and I'll put links to both these. I think Home Genie is more home automation for what I want to control lights and stuff. This is an open source project called Jasper right now. It's just the first one I tried. But I want to let you know what I'm doing with this. Um, I think the Raspberry Pi might be good for home automation. I'm learning on this one. Uh, when the Raspberry Pi 2 comes out in the States, I should say when I'm able to buy one, I'll go ahead and upgrade that at that time. But you know, right now I'll just, uh, you know, wait on it until I can get it. But I'll, I'll experiment with this one, and I'll make this one just a simple, uh, probably a media server when I'm done with it. I'm um, having trouble using the, uh, setting it up for the, um, echo link node based on compiling the software. I'm having trouble with that, too. It's all a big learning curve. Uh, not as easy as I thought it would be. But I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot daily. Uh, reading a lot, so maybe in a couple of days we'll have the Echo Link up. Um, my ex, the other radio I bought should be here. On, what Friday, I think. So we'll see if we can get that set up then. I can go ahead and make up the cables now, but I'm not gonna open it up right now. I'll just you know attach it to the radio through the ports. But that's not here nor there right now. I just want you to know what's going on with the Raspberry Pi. We we've got ahead and we set up the the one called Jasper and um oh hello. And it's listening. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? And um, I've chosen this one and the Pocket Sphinx because most of the AI software today or home automation that has voice recognition or text to speech uh, streams that out of the web, Google. And I don't want to open mic into my house all the time or AT&T or whoever. Uh, Pocket Sphinx uh, only uh, encodes based on what's what's right here. It's, it's in the unit there. And we're running on an 8 gig card on this one, but I'll have to see what the other ones are and uh, let you know. I'm going to try Home Genie next. I just bought a bunch of SD cards, and each one's going to have its own thing on it. Uh, that way I don't have to start over and delete everything. And with the, this is the Model B Plus, but with the um, Raspberry Pi 2, it should be exactly the same with just a faster chip and more RAM. That's my understanding, but I don't know. Don't know yet. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an update on that, and uh, I'm going to do a home automation project with this. And like I said, I'm going to have a couple pies here, so they're each going to be doing different things, but the Echo Link is just, that's not going to be a lot of fun for me. That's just something to make, and then, okay, well, 
it's a toy for everybody else. I want something useful here. I want if the dog starts barking and going crazy when I'm not here. This will actually do a sound input and it will understand the dog barking as a trigger and it will send an email to me to let me know there's a problem. And then I'll have all the webcams on and it will take a bunch of pictures around the house and send it to me, which my, my other system already does that, but I have to log in and it doesn't have a push on it. Or it doesn't have push turned on. I didn't have it turned on. But I can access it from the web, but this will actually send pictures and uh, that'll give me some off-site storage too. And it's running headless, so I'm going to get another safe and just put this and the network servers in this individual safe by itself. It's own safe from probably Harbor Freight. I don't know. Cheap one. All right, that's it. North Carolina Pepper. Just want to let you know what's going on. Y'all have a great day, and, and lasers are cool. All right, have a good one. I'm out.